For every 20 deaths in the world today, one is a result of alcoholism. Did you know that 11.8 million people die every year from alcohol, drugs, or tobacco? Addiction is one of the worst health crises the world has ever seen. And it's the number one preventable cause of death in the United States. And did you know that only 10% of those affected ever seek treatment or have it made available to them? Addiction is lonely, isolating, and scary. The COVID pandemic has caused a 20 to 30% increase in opioid overdoses and alcohol addiction. We are determined to change that. Our life-saving message can bring hope to those that are in despair, isolated, and scared. My name is Tom Williams, and I am the CEO of Came to Believe Recovery. I'm also a recovered alcoholic and addict. We aim to end addiction worldwide by presenting the program of Alcoholics Anonymous the way our founders intended. I believe every alcoholic and addict can achieve permanent, sustainable sobriety. But there is a solution, that same solution found nearly 80 years ago by a group of visionary, divinely inspired men is available to you today. That original program, those 12 steps outlined by our founders, work exactly the same today as they did back then. In the 1930s and 40s, those 12 steps, done exactly the way the founders intended, resulted in a 94% success rate. Yes, that's 94% of them achieved sustainable, permanent sobriety. Today, at Came to Believe Retreats, we are experiencing those same rates of success. People are going through the program in a three-day weekend retreat, just the way the founders intended, and achieving the same success that they did. This program that worked 80 years ago still works today. And we wanna make this available to every one of the 24 million Americans that are suffering from addiction today. The freedom I experience today and the freedom my family experiences today is profound and wonderful. I have my family back, I have a good job, I have everything plus more in life that I could possibly dream of. Still to this day mind-blowing to me because I found the answers that I've looked for for 30 years. The biggest thing for me was the Monday morning I woke up and um, and I woke up and I wanted to show up for life. I wanted to go to work and you know, and I felt connected and nothing had changed, but everything had changed. It was just unbelievable. Um, and, and the experience since has just been unbelievable. But doing the retreat over a single weekend has opened my eyes um, to how simple this program is of having to do steps only once, uh, steps one to nine once, and then living in 10, 11, and 12 daily. I am promising you that if you attend that Came to Believe Recovery Retreat, you will find out that you will have what I have today, a life that has direction, a new life that has purpose, and a new life that has identity. What more did we want? That's what I wanted when I showed up here, and that is what I have one of the most common phrases we hear after retreats is, why didn't anyone ever tell me this? Lives are saved, families are restored, and careers revived or created. But guys, we have a challenge. How do we get this life-saving message out to all the hurting and suffering? It costs between three and $5,000 to seat a new retreat in a new area. And we wanna have retreats in all 50 states as soon as possible and more in the UK and around the world. There has never been a more critical time to have a solution available for those seeking help, especially after COVID. Your support could have a huge impact on addiction, save lives and put huge amounts of money back into the economy. Picture this, there are 24 million Americans suffering from some sort of substance use disorder today. If we sent every one of those suffering to a Came to Believe retreat at an average cost of $300 a person, it would cost $8.9 billion. That seems like a large number, doesn't it? Well, the cost of untreated addiction in the United States alone today is somewhere between $700 billion and some estimates say as high as $1.4 trillion. 
And if just 25% of those that attended a retreat became recovered, it would save 40,000 lives and between 200 and $400 billion. That $8.9 billion investment is seeming like small potatoes now, isn't it? Especially when it's invested in a historical and experiential sure thing. The program that worked 80 years ago still works today. Help us to spread this life-saving message so we can end addiction worldwide.